Hi Dresser Kitties, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw a little bunny to celebrate fall. So let's get started. To draw this cute rabbit, let's first start by drawing the top of its head. So I'm going to come right here and draw a curve. It's right in the center. And then from there we're going to pop up some ears. So let's go up. And I'm just going to make my ears um, not too tall. It's nice and short actually for a little bunny. It's a baby, little baby bunny. So about that much. And same thing over here. So I just want to pop out these two little ears. There. And then let's come back in and we're going to imagine this curve is coming down. So say about right here. We're going to draw another curve and then draw the inside of our ear. And same thing here. So just imagining a curve and the inside. There. Okay, so now with the ears in, let's bring this down. So we're just imagining this coming through and we're basically aiming to draw my usual dumpling shape for the head. So it's a little bit narrower at the top and then wider on the sides. Then we're just going to round it off. And about right there, let's start to bring it in. So if you're using a pencil, um, definitely draw the shape first, this little dumpling shape first, and then pop in the ears. That might be a little bit easier. So just play around with it. So about right there, I'm just going to go ahead and connect it with a curve to finish it off. There. Okay, so I got this big head in. Let's come back right to the center, say about right here, and I'm going to draw these little bunny ears. I mean bunny nose, sorry. So a little curve right in the center, and then connect it in the center again. And then let's come straight down about right here, and I'm just going to curve out on both sides for the mouth and cap it off. There. And now for the eyes, let's come to the sides of these, um, of the nose and about right here. Just pop in a big circle. And same thing on the other side. So say about right here. And once again, if it's easier for you to draw the eyes first, Definitely do that as well. Draw the eyes and then the nose. Okay, so now that I have that in, let's go ahead and make them draw set cute eyes. So two small circles inside for highlights and a curved line at the bottom. Then shade in the top. at the bottom and same thing over here. There. Then from there, let's come above each eye. I'm just going to draw a soft curve. And then let's draw some whiskers right here at the bottom. And say about right here. Let's draw two little whiskers. <laughs> there. Okay, so then now that we have the head all done, let's go ahead and put a scarf on this uh, bunny because it is fall. We need to keep it um, nice and warm, right? So kind of like where the eye is about right here. I'm just going to draw a curve. And here as well. Then let's go ahead and connect it. Nice warm sweater. Scarf, I mean. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, now that we have that, let's go ahead and come in a little bit about right here. And we're just going to draw a curve for the body. So same thing here. And let's round it off about right here. And bring it in. 
It's a very simplified little bunny. And connect. There. Let's round it off a little bit. Okay, so then now that we have that, let's go ahead and put in some hands. So about right here, it's going to pop in a little curve and tuck it in. So same thing right here. And then for the feet, come out right here for some little bunny feet. So pop out curve nice and high and just tuck it in. So same thing here and tuck it in. And you can come in here with two little curves if you like for some details and here as well. Okay, so now that we have that, let's finish up the scarf. I'm gonna come right by here and draw the tail of our scarf. Just maybe one longer one right here. I'll tuck one in behind. And then we can even add some of these tassels at the end if you like, just to spruce it up. And of course, we're going to add a heart right here because it's my draw so cute fall bunny, right? And let's see, what else can we add? Um, we can add some, just add some lines right here so you can add some color. And let's have them going this way here. Of course, they don't have to be stripes. You can put polka dots, whatever you like for your bunny scarf. And then let's add a little curve right here. So we can separate the tummy of our bunny. So that'd be about right here for the other side. And that is pretty much it for our fall bunny. And But I thought it'd be really cute because it is fall. Let's add some leaves, right, to spruce it up. So if you want to do that, let's just come about right here. Add a little stem, and then we're going to come around it. Zigzag, just for a very simple little leaf that's maybe just floating down. So same thing here. Just wobble, a little curve. Change up the leaves. And maybe one here on the ground. So maybe about right here. And wobble. I really hope this inspires you to start drawing these fall drawings. And um, let's see here. We can even add some grass here. And then, of course, let's add a dandelion, right? Spruce it up even more. There. And that is pretty much it for this little bunny, bunny rabbit here that's ready to celebrate fall. And I hope you are too. And I hope that I've inspired you to draw this fun and easy today. And if I did, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.